Handicapper Steve here, handicapping the racing from Brighton Racecourse here on Monday. It is June the 3rd, 2019. I'm going to look at the fifth race to 4 o'clock from Brighton, but before I get on to that, remember to please follow me on Twitter at HorseracingKit5 for more selections for racecourses around the world, and join me starting Thursday for the Belmont Stakes Festival here in New York at Belmont. Uh, I'll have previews and selections for all three days of the festival. It goes from Thursday to Saturday, and the big race of the meeting, of course, is Saturday. Saturday, the Belmont Stakes, the final leg of the American Triple Crown, and uh, looks like it's going to be a great wide open race this year, so join me here on YouTube for previews for that race. But let's get to the fifth race, the 4 o'clock from Brighton, which is the Park Lane Group Handicap. It's Class 4 Handicap, going for a purse, $12,500, race for 4-year-olds and upwards, horses rate 66 to 85. Field of 4 horses going 2,400 meters or a mile and a half on the uniquely uh, unique turf course here at Brighton, mile and a half here. Top selection, I'm going to go with the 3-horse purse. Perfect illusion. I'm going to go 3 2 in the forecast exacta. 3 2 forecast exacta. Top selection of 3 horse perfect illusion. 4 year old gelding by Nathaniel. Joshua Bryan gets leg up for Andrew Balding. Supposed to carry 126 pounds, but with the 3 pound apprentice up, is only carrying 123, which I think will be a great race weight in this race. The horse's most recent appearance came 25th of May at York, a mile and a half in a class 4 handicap. He was just drawn a little bit too wide, had a little bit of too high weight. He finished third by 6.5 lengths. He just never quickened up. But he galloped well around, around the main portion of the race. You know, it wasn't the world's worst galloping race for him, but he just never quickened up. Like I said, coming here, lesser qu quality horses, lower weight. I just think he'll run a lot better. But before that, he ran the 17th May in Newmarket. Firm ground, a mile and a quarter in a class 3 handicap. And he finished 7th by 23 lengths there. And 9-2, to two, he was on the drive and just did absolutely piss poor. Never got into it. He beat two horses home, but the other two horses ran absolutely crap also. But this horse, he just didn't do it a lot of running there. It was a weird run. Run, and then at Windsor, a month rates in a class 4 handicap. He finished 4th by 2 lengths. He never got the good turn of foot, but it was his first off the break, so he probably need the run. And then at Kenton, back on the 31st of October, a mile and a half on the poly track in a class 2 handicap. Against some tougher horses, he finished 4th by 6.5 lengths. You know, it was an okay race, but, you know, he just he didn't win. <laughs> and then back in Newbury, back in the uh, September, uh, in a mile and a half handicap, class 3, he finished 5th by 9 lengths. He never changed the leads, and that cost him at the end. But I like him here, drier ground. He stepped down in class from the last one. Good lo low weight. I think at 9-2 to two, he'll get a piece of it, so I'll take him here. I think that one horse, Charles Kingsley, who I backed twice last month, I think he's beatable here, especially with that high weight of 141 pounds. But to recap my selections for the fifth, the four o'clock from Brighton, it's Park Lane Group Handicap. I'm going to go with the three horse Perfect Illusion. I'll go 3-2 in the forecast exacta. So good luck to him. Please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kit 5